came here and I wanted to go to university. At that time I wanted to be a school teacher but in order to teach in Canadian school here you had to go to university and you also in order to go to university I realized then too that I needed grade 13 which was one year um, one more advanced year than I had and I had from Jamaica so basically I applied to a school and I got into the Catholic girls school St. Joseph's College School in Toronto and um, and I was put back funnily enough two years I had finished grade 12 but I was put back into grade 11 in order to achieve my grade 13 at the end of the year I went to the guidance counselor and I said look I'm just repeating things I feel like I'm wasting my time I was told basically that that was the the system I needed to do these extra years I was the oldest student in the class in, I mean in the whole school so um, and coming from the system I came from looking back retrospectively I had no idea that actually I should have had some guidance beyond you have to do these extra years and you know here we, they, you pay your two and a half thousand dollars that about my direction in terms of career advice or anything like that so I just plowed along repeat repeated these things and got good marks and then once I left I had to decide what I wanted to be but interestingly enough even at St. Joe's I realized that I actually liked biology and chemistry so before I left and I got I earned my grade 13 I decided okay I didn't want to be a school teacher anymore I wanted to become a marine biologist you know I really like the science and that's what I wanted to be so I um, but but again interestingly after I finished that after and having been in Canada for four years I really began to miss Jamaica and I went back home for a year. Things happened in between. My partner that I had come with, um, we got married in between in the meantime and I came back here a, a year later and I applied to University, York University and I got accepted and my intention was to pursue a degree in um, marine biology. So I did the first foundation years, you know, and including the science, sciences that I needed. But then, lo and behold, halfway through that first year, I became pregnant. I finished the first year fully pregnant, and then I thought I could manage and, and study part-time, but it was too much because I had twin boys. And so I decided, okay, thankfully I finished the foundation years. I'll just put that to bed and I'll decide later on to continue. But in the meantime, it, it became, I became very, um, I became aware that with twin boys or with children, there's no way I was going to go out to Vancouver or anywhere and do deep sea diving. And so marine biology was just out of the question. I thought, okay, um, marine biology no what do I do next and I realized having children and having to raise myself from an early age that I had no I didn't really have the skills to be um, a mother or a parent in this country not only not being mothered fully myself but also coming from a context where the parenting skills were totally different I had to learn ways of parenting so I decided to enroll in um, uh, a degree, partial degree, family and child studies so I could learn some approaches to parenting and then the other half was actually my major was fine art because I was always interested in art and my minor was family and child studies and I took it took me six years I studied part-time to finish that and then after I finished that I decided I wanted to teach school